Alright, hey guys, Novturn here, and welcome, I know it's been a while, so welcome back to Master System Mania. Let me turn that off. Quiet, you. Okay. So, we're just gonna get started. Let's bring up the wheel and see what the first game is. So for those of you who might not know, uh, basically what I'm doing is right now I'm going through the US library of the Sega Master System. It was 114 games. We're about halfway through. I'm playing them for a little bit until you get like the gist of them and then I'm ranking them. And after I get done with the US version, I'm going to go through Europe, and then Japan, and then Brazil. I'm going to try really hard to get the Korean games working, but uh, last time I tried to, they wouldn't work. So I'm going to go from there, but I really want to get through every game that was released for this system, because I feel that not a lot of people talk about the Sega Master System, especially here in the U.S. Let's see what we get. Ooh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Okay, usually a computer game, but they did come out with a version of it for the Sega Master System. So let's pull the wheel down. Let's bring up our Sega Master System. And let's load her up. I love that sound. So this is by Broderbund, which released a lot of computer games. And just like the computer game, uh, you're trying to find Carmen San Diego. It's an edutainment title. Let's see. I think I have to have the main window up. Yeah. So, enter your rank. Yeah, I'm a rookie. Please, faster. So yeah, you don't even get to go after Carmen San Diego first. You got to get the rest of her gang. And just like always, uh, her and her gang are able to steal entire national monuments right from the places where they belong to. So that's one clue already. It's a guy. Yep, so what we gotta do is go all over the world looking for this guy, asking people questions. And there's a time limit. So Sunday, 5 p.m. is when we have to get him by. So we're very slowly, there we are. So we fly to New Delhi. Yeah, you can hold the button to speed things up a little bit. Okay, all right, so now we have to pick where to go next. So let's try Moroni. 
And once we're here, we should be able to ask questions. <coughs> and there's our guy. Yeah. Cancel flight. Okay. Okay, if they say something like that, that means the person is not here at all. So we need to get the hell out of here. And go back to where we need to go. Let's try back in New Delhi and see if we can get more clues there. That was where they found them. Okay, so you had blonde hair. That's a clue you need. Let's see. Nope, that's not a place we can talk. Here we go. Okay, so book about fjords. So he's probably heading towards Norway. You have anything to say? Okay. Whoop, I didn't want to. No! I don't want to sleep. Okay. Alright, so we got to start heading towards Sweden. Or Norway. Somewhere like that. But let's see if he showed up here at all. Thank you! Let me see. I'm just gonna call you. What is that, Knight? Thank you for the head pats. I'm gonna call you Knight. Thank you for following. I really appreciate it. Okay, they're not here. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, Reykjavik. Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. Stop. <laughs> I don't want to sleep. It's wasting time. Alright, I'm getting way far away from where I'm trying to go to. See, that's weird, because now it's just taking me to where I don't want to go. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that's where in the world is Carmen San Diego. <laughs> uh, play it on the computer. So, uh, let's drop this down. And instead of waiting until the end of the episode, where I'm more than likely going to forget every game that was played, uh, we're just going to rank them as soon as I'm done. Whoops. Get out of here, logo. We don't need you right now. So, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Oh, and our uh, baseline game is Hang On and Safari Hunt. I didn't do Safari Hunt yet, but uh, Hang On is the base game because that's the game that came packaged with it. Let's see. Yeah, let's go down around here. Now, let's see. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Okay, so I would rather play it more than James Buster Douglas Knockout Boxing. 
Great Golf, Paperboy. Let's see, Thunderblade. Yeah, Thunderblade sucks. Let's go up a bit higher. Alright, let's see. E-SWAT. E-SWAT was a difficult game, but the hell of a lot more fun than this, so we're going to put those down. There you go. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Number 46. Okay. Put that down. Let's pull up the wheel and let's see what's next. What shall we play next? <gasps> Joe Montana Football, okay. This is also released on the Sega Genesis. They ported it to the Master System as well. High choice. Pull that down. Okay, we're going to delete Where in the World is Carmen San Diego off the list. go Joe Montana football there it is so Knight are you familiar with the Sega Master System you don't have to answer if you don't want to <laughs> look at that Joe Montana there he is yep I'm definitely a beginner see uh, yeah let's be the Browns <laughs> and we're gonna take on New England I will select heads look at that dithered digitized quarter <laughs> Okay, so we're receiving. And there we are. Hmm, not a whole lot of sound. Okay, and we're going. Oh, there's some sound. <laughs> I hear some very faint whistling in the background. Okay. Uh, sure, up the gut. Why not? Pass. There we go. Not bad. I actually got a first down. That's a lot better than I usually get in some of these football games. Uh, you know what? Let's try it again. Well, let's see if I can actually score a touchdown. That'd be fantastic. That'd be a first for uh, one of these football games. Sure, let's do this. Ah, uh, I got sacked. Joe's play. Sure. Damn. <laughs> I need to actually throw the ball. That would help. I'll try that again. Okay, still got a first down. No! Frig. <laughs> Alright, I'll try that again. No, seven yard gain, not bad. I mean, if we like just basically shotgun it every five seconds, we'll eventually get to the touchdown thing. 
Okay, that wouldn't let me pass. I probably have to hit the other button to pass when it's somebody else. Joe has no play to suggest. So I'll try this one. Nope. Ah, screw. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Sure, I like the name of that play. Let's go for it. I'll keep going until the quarter is over. Oh, there we go. My team is smarter than I am. <laughs> okay. One more time, and I should be able to keep them from getting a first down. Oh, they're going for the kick. Oh, but I caught it. Oh, we're probably changing sides, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. Kiss my ass, Jackoffs. I'm heading towards the end zone, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> I almost made it. Pray for rain. Sure. You jerk in blue. Come on. One touchdown. Please. Alright. I gotta pull this out because I really want to get a touchdown. Curses. Let me see. Is that it? I'm going for a field goal. I'm getting points somewhere on this thing. Hell yeah. I think that's the first time I've ever scored points in one of these football games yet. So, uh, that's the end of that. Let's rank this one. That was Joe Montana football. Not a whole lot of Joe Montana, but, you know, it was a second master system, so they are doing the best they could with what they got. So let's look at the other football games that are on here. There's great football and Walter Payton football. This is better than that. those two. Let's see. Look at the other sports games. Yeah, they're down a lot. Let's see. Would I play this more than Hang On, the game that this came with? Hmm, let's see. I would. I would probably... This is a football... This is a sports game I would actually play, so... It's going to go up there a little bit. Uh, let's see. Um... Alright. Here's my other... The other sports game that I really like. Uh, Enduro Racer. I would probably rather play Enduro Racer than Joe Montana Football, so... We're going to put it right below Enduro Racer. Joe Montana football. There we are. Okay. Let's see what's next. Ooh. The third Fantasy Zone game. I already played the other two. down bring you up and let's load her up get rid of Joe Montana football
Okay, uh, the other two Fantasy Zone games were side-scrolling shooters, and they're really good. This, however, is a Pac-Man-like game. Okay, I can't buy anything, so why you bother? And here we go. So, uh, we need to get all the coins. And there's a timer aspect in the middle there. Because if we don't touch it in time, uh, enemies will spawn out of it. Whoop. Got tagged at the last second. Nope. Get away. So yeah, as you can see, it's just Pac-Man, basically. There we go. Let's kill these guys. There we go. And that's one level. And then, of course, you can use your money to buy things. Which you have to buy while you're in here. So you can see, uh, in some cases, the maze aspect is very loosely defined. Oh, and I just picked up a flicky. <laughs> So the top power is basically invincibility. Oh, and I can grab another one. Teehee. Because hey, if it's there, why not? <laughs> I'm going to abuse the hell out of it if I got the muns for it. Got little remixes of the uh, Final Fantasy Zone music. I uh, see they made the top power very expensive in this level. Oh, I picked up an egg. Thank you. gonna abuse this for as long as I can. Yeah, so as long as you touch that spot in the middle, more enemies won't respawn. But yeah, it's, it's Pac-Man, basically, except with a very loose interpretation of a maze. Now I got a bonus level. Where you can't see shit. <laughs> there we go. So not bad. Okay. So, uh, we're good on this. Okay, uh, let's rank this one. As you can see, sometimes we go by these games pretty quick, but that's alright. They're not, uh, you know, they're not really meant for really, really long play sessions for some of these. Some of them are, and we'll get into those when we get to them. Let's drop that down. Ranking screen up. Okay, so upon replaying, I used to hate this game a lot as a kid. But upon replaying it, it's not so bad. But where would I put it? Well, let's look at the other maze game that we have. 
Snail Maze. This is a game that you got when you turned the system on with no games in the console at all and then pressed up in the two buttons. You get a bonus little snail game. Let's see. But as simplistic as Snail Maze is, I still think it's a better game than Fantasy Zone The Maze. Because Snail Maze, you're just standing through the maze. There's not all kinds of Pac-Man nonsense thrown in. So we're going to throw it down there. Okay. Let's see. Zone. The maze. Okay. Let's see what the next game is. What are we going to get? Afterburner. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm going to hide that. Pull this back up. And let's go for some Afterburner. One of Sega's most well-known arcade games. But how does it translate to the Sega Master System? Let's see what we got. Maybe. There it goes. Get ready. So, uh, you'll see it's not quite the arcade version. It's a little choppy. Just, uh, oh, if you get motion sickness, um, you might want to look away for the next, like, three minutes or so. <laughs> So you got guns and you got missiles. Oop. And I got tagged. So you can fly up and down and you can go through the sides. See, they start shooting at you, so you need to start moving your ass out of the way. Yeah, if you move your uh, cursor over them, you can mark them for missiles. Wow, that one I hit right before it hit into me. <laughs> Okay, I made it through stage one. <laughs> so yeah, it's not really a bad interpretation of the arcade version. I mean, it's not as smooth, but, you know, that's how it goes. You could do a lot worse. Threading all kinds of needles today. And yeah, the missiles, you can only have two on screen at a time. And you do have that radar up top that tells you, like, where stuff is. Oh, nope. 
I think a, I think a plane rammed right into me. Oh, there we go. Stage three. I'll play until I get a game over, and then we'll move on because it's Afterburner. It's not a, <laughs> it's not a complex RPG. It's you shoot planes and dodge missiles. In a lot of these super scalar games, the main thing you want to do is keep moving. Like sometimes you don't even want to worry about the enemies around. This is why I keep going up and down and side. There we go. I was trying to do that earlier. Do a total, uh... Well, I mean, technically it's kind of like a barrel roll. Although it doesn't deflect shots like in Star Fox. There we go. Now they're shooting at me because... Nope, there we go. Alright. Not bad, though. Okay, so that was Afterburner. We're gonna rank that. So let's go up the list. I'm not gonna put it in my top 10 because I don't like it that much. I do like the game though. So let's go down the list a little bit. Let's see. Let's see, maybe top 20. Let's see, you got Outrun, Rastin, Ghost House. Outrun is another uh, super scaler game, but that game is way more chill because, you know, you're just driving your Ferrari down the roads of Southern California. You don't really have to worry about planes shooting at you. And I do like Outrun a little bit more. So, we're gonna put Afterburner, oh, let's see, there we go, we'll put it right under Zillion 2, because Zillion 2 is another action game that I really enjoy. So, we'll shift those down. Afterburner. Not a bad place for it. Okay, let's pull that down. Okay, what's the next game? Ooh, Montezuma's Revenge featuring Panama Joe. Here's another computer game that got adapted for the Sega Master System. Let me bring this up. Okay. Halt. Okay. Whoops. That's what I meant to do. Okay, Afterburner is gone. Now let's pull the next game up. <laughs> yep, Parker Brothers, the company that used to make board games before it was absorbed by Hasbro with basically all the other board game companies. Used to... They produced a couple video games for the Sega Master System. They did the conversion for King's Quest as well. So... 
Nope. <laughs> We're going with one. So this is a chamber. The ancient tribe. And we just have to go through and loot it. And here we go. Okay, uh, there's fall damage, so you gotta take that in mind. The different hats up there are your lives. And you're mainly gonna be grabbing keys and treasure and avoiding enemies. Okay, jump the skull, there we go. Nope, we gotta jump over the snake, but it's dead now, so that's fine. <laughs> it plays the few first couple of notes of La Cucaracha every time you pick an item up. Make of that what you will. Grab that red key. Nope, you gotta actually jump. <laughs> I will save that key for. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Okay, can't go that way. And Panama Joe burned to death. Game over. Let's try that again. We're going to run that back. Oh, we get to continue right here. How nice. Can't go there either. There we go. Let's get back up here. go and now we can go the other way in the opening room okay that kills enemies sort of <laughs> makes it so you can get past them and look at this nightmarish room huh I don't even know where to start. Court, uh, that's not the good way to go, probably. Jeez, can I even make that jump? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> Death comes suddenly for Panama Joe. Well, definitely ain't going that way. Okay. Okay, should probably jump, not just plummet. Huh, I'm surprised that didn't kill me. Okay then. Up the ladder, thank you. Nope. <laughs> okay, well. At least all the enemies are dead, so I can try to concentrate on this conveyor belt nightmare. Nope. Okay, I got one more life to go with this. Up here. Okay, and now we're back into this room. Oh, and that leads us here. Can I jump from the rope? Yes, I can. 
course. <laughs> All right. That's Montezuma's Revenge. It's a platform puzzler. I think we've gotten the gist of it. So let's see. Where are we going to put this? Definitely below Hang On, because I'm not a big fan of that game. But not too much lower. Let's see. Got... See, once we get to, like, where Pro Wrestling is and Rampage, below that, we start to get in the stuff that I don't like at all. So, let's put it... We'll put it right below Pro Wrestling. Because Pro Wrestling, I was saying earlier, it's one of those games that's a lot more fun when you have, you know, a second player. But Pro Wrestling can be fun on its own. So we're just going to put that here. Okay. We'll just put Montezuma's Revenge. Which itself is a poop joke. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. What's next? On our list. Wonder Boy 3. We haven't hit any of the other Wonder Boy games yet. So let's go for it. First, let's delete. Montezuma's Revenge off the list. Now, this is a sequel to Wonder Boy and Monster Land. Which itself was the sequel to Wonder Boy, but Wonder Boy and Monster Land took the game in a completely different direction. A more action-adventure themed one. As opposed to the original Wonder Boy, which was more of a... Uh, well, it was Adventure Island, basically, but Wonder Boy came first. And while this music's going on, I am going to run to the restroom. So I will be right back.
I'm back. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna new game. And this starts off with the end of Wonder Boy and Monster Land. So here you are. So basically, this is the end of the last game. You're in the final castle. Oh, hold on. Stop it. No. Stop. It. Whatever. I don't think it. Let's see, I think it still does matter because in the second, in the uh, real version of the second game, you had to take a certain path through the castle. Otherwise, the areas would just repeat over and over again. So it looks like that's still the case. Yep. Because now I'm in a new place. You can press start in this game, and there's an actual inventory screen. So you see, we got the legendary sword. We are human. Legendary shield, yeah. You get the general idea. We gotta go down. Go this way. Now we got headless skeletons running around. And once you get here, uh, you know you're towards the end of this opening section here. Stop it. There we go. Okay, and through the door, we fight the boss. This is the Mika Dragon, M-E-K-A, and you just gotta hit him in the head. You can see his health in the corner there, and I apologize for the obnoxious flashing that happens every time I hit him in the head. Because <laughs> these games back then did not care about your eyes. You'll notice, though, that even though I'm getting juggled sometimes, I'm only taking one hit. Once it's dead, though, we gotta deal with this thing. And once it touches you, seizure warning, we get turned into a dragon. And now we gotta get the hell out of here. You notice, though, you can only have one projectile on screen at a time. Because if you try to go another one, it disappears. Now, I like his little duck animation where he sticks his tail up in front of him. So, yeah, we need to book it out of here. These blocks don't really hurt you, but they are annoying, because they do uh, stun you a bit, like you've taken an actual hit. But they're not actually causing damage. Just get on through here. kind of need to wait for these to drop down enough to make a staircase to get out of here. There we go. Back outside. Can't go in there yet. And 
once we get far enough away. Castle crumbles. Although, this is just the start of our journey. And here we are in town. Let me check something. I haven't seen... Nobody's chatting. <laughs> okay. Doesn't work, just everybody's quiet today. That's fine. You don't have to. I was just curious. Hey, <laughs> okay, so, we can pop in here. That gives us our password. Because this is a big ass game. Head down here. Of course, as a dragon, we can't swim very well. But we don't have to worry about drowning or anything like that. And that takes us here to a beach. But there's still more stuff I want to do and check out in town. Go up here. And this is a shop. See? Shopping, please. And I can't afford shit. Can't go in there yet. Please stop. I just want to get in there. There we go. here that takes me back up <laughs> there we go heart container this game did get a remake that's out on Steam and uh, other computers and stuff See, we can't really go this way yet. And the remake is very, very good. I would recommend getting it. They also made a uh, spiritual successor called, uh, I think it was Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom. That was a really good game, too. Okay, can't go there yet. That was a hospital that you can get healed at. So, yep, first place we gotta go to is here. Can't blow that block up. <laughs> and you transform into all different kinds of creatures in this game. You've got a dragon, a fish, a mouse, a lion, a bird, and eventually you turn back into your human self. I really do like that the uh, dragon you start out as has a projectile weapon. And duck down and roast these crabs. slippery when you run around, so you gotta be careful of that. Because you'd be sliding all over the place. And if I fall in the water, nothing bad happens. It just wastes a lot of time. Because I have to basically climb back out. Yeah, like, see, it would lead me to a place like here. You see, some enemies are tougher. 
say. Get a special weapon, tornado. You see, these tougher enemies give more gold, of course. And you can go in here. And I can select those. And then if I press up, let's see, that's the other button, I think. I'm as good as dead. Let me in, please. Okay, so we got two choices of doors. What are you? You're a shop. And you got stuff I can't even afford, so nope. <laughs> Never mind. But even if I do take another hit, that potion up top is a uh, life restore potion. So even if I do lose all my health, it will give me my health back for one time. selected it, but I can't... Hmm. Strange. Yeah, there we go. Stop bullying me, please. I'm just a little dragon. Let's see here. Alright. That's a good uh, first impression of this game. Uh, this is probably... I'll probably do the remake as a full... Uh, playthrough eventually. But yeah, that's uh, Wonder Boy 3. Let's rank it. And we're definitely going to go up. Because, let's see. Not going to be... Definitely not top 5. <laughs> But I think it will be top 10. Top 15, definitely. So let's start at that. So we got Alex Kid and Shinobi World and the regular Shinobi, which are good. Let's see. I put this Monopoly here because it gives you an option to choose how many turns you want to play. So you could do just like one turn if you really want to, so you're not stuck there for 10 hours like a real game of Monopoly. Let's see, Gavellius. Uh, let's see. Well, let's look at Golden Axe Warrior. It's like a it's like the Legend of Zelda. It's another adventure game. So and the Ninja's a shooter. I think I would put uh, Wonder Boy three right above the Ninja. So let's do just that. Yeah, it's a great game. Okay. Let's see what's next on the list. And I do plan on... Whoop, hold on. There it is. 
I do plan on doing the Sega Genesis after I get done with the Master System. However, with the Sega Genesis and any other Sega console I do after that, I'm only going to do the U.S. games because a hell of a lot more games were released for those than for the Master System here. There we go. There's my button. Space Harrier. All right. Another really famous arcade game from Sega. Another Super Scaler game. Let's bring this up. There we go. And let's do us some Space Harrier. First things first. Little Wonder Boy. First, you got the classic title screen and music. And this game does have lore, so I'm going to let the uh, thing play out so you can see what the story of the game is. Because why not? First, we got to get through some demo screens first. So we'll just get through those fast. <laughs> okay, it's got to go through the whole music spiel. You get to see a preview of one of the bosses. Which we'll see eventually. <laughs> yeah, there should be one more demo. Yep. A very late stage in the game. And I think this next one should be the story. So while that's going, I'm going to grab something to drink. There I am. Okay, let's see, is it the... Nope. This next one will be the storyline. Okay. So it's a whole saga. I'm just gonna let this play out. There's a little space harrier, a little one eyed mammoth there. <clears throat> There's one of the bosses. A lot of dragon bosses in this game. bad dragons, there's good dragons, and there's one guy with a gun who can fly around. His physic powers.
Yep. Unreal Aided 2 Fantasy Zone. Let's go. Moot. So you fly around and you shoot the hell out of everything you see. All must die before your power. There is a uh, NES version of this game, well, Famicom, really, and it looks like total ass. <laughs> because one thing about the Famicom, it cannot handle games like the Sega Master System could. <clears throat> Despite being the more powerful system graphically, uh, it wasn't able to hold a market share here in America. And you die, you say get ready, and then you keep moving on. I used to be able to tag all three in once. <laughs> Now the first boss, and with any of these bosses, you're going to want to just keep moving. And you just got to shoot him in the head. Even though it looks like the shots are bouncing off, you are causing damage. Oh, hey, you're fine. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, we're playing Space Harrier. Whoop. Now you got these stone heads. And you just really got to keep moving in this game. That's the main way to win. And, you know, don't walk right into something when it gets right up in your face. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if it gets too much for your data, you don't have to stick around on my account. <laughs> I do appreciate it, though. Gotta weave through these. Uh, I'm dead. Haha, it still works. <laughs> I still remember how to continue in this game. If you hold if you hold down left and press button one, I you can do three you can do that three times and it lets you continue. <laughs> I know. Whoop. Okay. So, in case you missed it, uh, that boss was a bunch of stone heads surrounded by something that was in the middle. If you shoot at the thing in the middle, thank you for the head pats, and uh, destroy it, the boss goes away, but you gotta dodge all of the stone heads as they come at you. So we're at level three, and this is where the background music will change to something else. It takes a little bit of time. And it would help if I stopped, you know, speeding headlong into things. Come on. Yep. Oh no, this isn't, uh, yeah. There is a, there's the music change. There is a Space Harrier 3D, which, um, I gotta do that on its own private episode. But yeah, for Super Scaler games, this isn't too bad. Bleh. 
I will get through this level, damn it. Even though I already used up two of my continues. Alright, here we go. I love this boss. It's a two-headed dragon. Just gotta keep on hitting them in the heads. One thing I don't like is every time you die and you uh, come back, it pulls you to the middle of the screen. Okay, that's one down. There we go. And now, we get into one of these levels where they drop a ceiling down on you. And shit gets real fast, real quick. That was my fault. Am I at it continues? Nope. <laughs> uh, I still got some more. I think that's this is my last one. Yeah. <laughs> Friggin' 20 sided thing. So yeah, I should be getting to the end of the level soon. There we go. And what's the boss this time? Two ro- bunch of robots. Of course, if you land right into them, there's a problem. Okay, and the bonus stage. You get to ride on the dragon that was talked about in the intro. What you have to do is destroy trees. You know, I've played the arcade version and I don't like it very much. I like this version more. <laughs> no, go over to the right. I think it's because for me the arcade version moves so smoothly and so fast I have a hard time shooting stuff. Yeah, I'm I like the Master System version more. I'm gonna play until I get in another game over and then we'll move on. Cause I am definitely gonna stream this to try to beat it. You notice the stuff's starting to get a lot faster now. got uh, planes coming at us. We got more robots. We got these weird antenna things around. There's one boss I would really like to get to, to show it, because it's really goofy. I think this is the level, but we'll see. But yeah, you just keep shooting until everything is gone. Here, let's see. Is this it? Yep, here they come. The evil space peanuts. <laughs> Space Peanuts. And then eventually they get bored and go away. <laughs> now we got the mammoth that's on the title screen. <laughs> 
No, they're peanuts. <laughs> no, that was my fault. <laughs> and I got these little wiggly armed UFOs now. I like the enemy design in this game a lot. And they're little wiggly arms. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that would have been a, that would have been a kill if I had gone up any higher. Oh, just like that one. Nope, that's it. Alright, that's Space Harrier. Let's rank it. I'll let the music play. Try. <laughs> nope, no more tries. Nope, not the wheel. And, I mean, there's only one place where I could put this game. Hell out of here, Sonic. I mean, I'll admit, before I played through Fantasy Star from start to finish, this was my favorite game, hands down, for the Master System. But after playing through Fantasy Star from start to finish, that took over the number one spot. So Space Harrier is still my fav one of my favorite games, though. So, while that plays, let's bring the wheel up. And what's next? Ooh, Cloudmaster. Another shooter. Okay, let's pull down the wheel. Yes. <laughs> the wheel of morality. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. There we are. Okay, let's get rid of Space Harrier. Delete that from the list. Never been there. It looks like it would be a very fun place to visit. Okay. What the? Oh yeah, Cloud Master. I was about to say, what the hell did I just pick? There's another arcade game that was ported over. You've seen this game. Unfortunately, on the Master System, it's kind of crappy. <laughs> oh yeah, this is why I started ranking the games right after the, uh, right after I play them. Because otherwise, I would forget what games I played by the time I got to the end of the episode. We got some rapid fire going. I'm just holding the button down now. And of course, it's one hit deaths, so there you go. So I might not get too far in this one. No checkpoints either, because it looks like I'm all the way back at the start. Yes. Yep, this is based on Journey to the West. Sort of. It's very loosely based. Okay, so that A makes me do automatic. Makes sense. Oh, it is hard to see what the hell is coming at you. <laughs> So 
So yeah, uh, this game isn't very good, as you can tell already. Well, yeah, the the main character of Sun Sun is also a uh, analog to the Monkey King. I mean, they're even monkey-like and they carry a staff, I believe. Oh, and I don't have the automatic fire for this part, so this should be good. Same enemies. <laughs> Alright. I am not dying to those same enemies ever again. This is my promise. So yeah, we got these monochrome backgrounds. I don't know if the arcade version is uh, more colorful or not. I've never played this. Alright, I'm keeping an eye out for those present box enemies that killed me. There they are. See? I didn't die to them. I died to something else instead. <laughs> Huh. I must have gained a one-up or something somewhere along the way. Alright. <laughs> well, wasn't that fun? That was Cloudmaster. <laughs> now I'll do one more. I'll try one more time. Yeah, really. A lot of times the bullets are extremely small to see. So I keep getting tagged by something. Monopoly, because I said it to one turn without knowing it. <laughs> so I had me and the computer player had one turn exactly, and I ended up winning because I had bought a property and they did not. So that would be the shortest. Oh yeah, well, it was funny, because it said you could shoot, it said time limit, so it just said one. So I thought it meant one minute, but it turned out it just meant one turn. <laughs> so I had no idea. So I did the one turn, I won, and I said, okay, that's enough for Monopoly. Besides, it's Monopoly. I think everybody knows what Monopoly is by now. Look at that pig with a gun. Well, you can always you can always do a house rule to give yourself uh, time limits in actual Monopoly. And that damn turtle again. Got pig heads. I wish I had my spread shot still, but it went away, and now I got this uh, two ball thing here more blue balls to deal with. Oh! I actually made it to a boss. Look at that. And it's a bird. Okay. That is not a shield. Duly noted. Oh, 
okay. <laughs> We're done with this. I'm not doing that entire stage all over again. Okay, that was Cloudmaster. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. So where are we going to stick this? Well, I have a couple ideas. We're, this is definitely going under hang on. That's for sure. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put it. I'm going to put it under Alien Syndrome because Alien Syndrome is a bit more fun. So, push those down. Cloudmaster. Okay. Okay, uh, it's an hour and a half. I know I took a break earlier to run to the restroom, but I'm going to do a actual break. <laughs> well, you know, you don't want to do some games unfair, you know. So I'm going to do a five-minute break. Starting now. This is where the fish live. Ta-da! I'm back. Okay, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're uh... Rank, we're spinning the wheel, yes. <laughs> Already ranked it. Yeah, it's, it's all right. <laughs> I just got up and stretched my legs a little bit. Captain Silver, okay. Not 
down. Okay. Let's delete Cloudmaster from the list. I saw. <laughs> he likes pets just as much as I do. I forgot what I fixed for a second. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Captain Silver, yes. No, this is also an arcade game. Yeah, it's all right. We play as this guy. Look at he go. And the main thing you're doing in this game is collecting letters. Yeah, I think... I think this came out on the NES as well. I'm not sure, though. Oh, so now I can jump higher. I can grab that coffee or whatever the hell that was up there. It made me invincible, I'm not going to risk it because I don't want to. I'm pretty sure it's one hit deaths in this game. And now that I got the fairy, I can shoot stars. Yes. I know the key is for one of these doors. Shut up. You play the flute terribly. Let's see, can I get a letter I? Nope, I jumped too soon. I got an egg. I don't know what that does, but I got one. What fresh hell is this? He went brrrr! <laughs> okay. No, actually, uh, Captain Silver is the villain in this game. But we are spelling, we are trying to spell his name. Maybe that summons him. Hell if I know. get another one that cycles through the letters? No, I guess not. Alright, let's try this again. I don't like where this is going at all. Uh, I think it's Jim, actually. Sort of like a Treasure Island thing. Okay. There we go. That's what the key is for. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me buy time. And that's all I can afford. Huh. Didn't give me a whole lot of time. Jesus. Oh, it froze time. Okay, I see. Cat. Okay, I spelled his name. I don't know what that did. Oh. 
Oh, I'm guess. Oh, I guess you have to spell his name in order to beat the level. Great. But yeah, this isn't a bad game. I played a hell of a lot worse. Okay, you don't fall down those. People just come out of them. Yeah, I'm guessing that's how it goes. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there's an up. Yeah, because that level kept scrolling until, uh... I got that last eye, so... I guess I'm spelling... I guess I'm spelling his name. No! Okay. It's gone now. <laughs> Wow. What a marksman. Okay, it looks like you get checkpoints, so... Oh, come on. Alright. Well, that's Captain Silver. Not a bad game. Like I said, I played a hell of a lot worse. So, where are we gonna put... this game? It's definitely going to be above Hang On. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's a funny... I like that sound effect. It's very funny. Let's see. I am going to put... Captain Silver right below Enduro Racer. Because I liked Joe Montana Football. It's the soul... One of the sole sports games I actually enjoyed playing. But uh, I'd rather play Captain Silver than Joe Montana Football, so there you go. There we go. Captain Silver. A motorcycle game, but yeah. Okay, while we listen to the soulful sounds of Captain Silver, let's spin the wheel again. What are we gonna get? Zillion. Woo! Oh yes, and the Enduro Racer for the Master System is based on the arcade game that Sega made that was also called Enduro Racer. Although the uh, Enduro Racer arcade game was a super scaler, where you were going into the screen like Space Harrier, but they weren't able to replicate it for the Master System, so they made an isometric motorcycle game instead. And when they brought it to the U.S., they, uh, cut out half of the levels. <laughs> Alright, let's hide choice. Um, I don't think so. Not on the Master System, anyway. Because I have no recollection of a game just called Turbo on the Master System. All right, shut the hell up, Captain Silver. You're dead to me now. Gotta go all the way to the bottom of the list. Oh, you're dead now. <laughs> so... Much like Zillion 2, this was the first one. 
This is based on an anime called Zillion, which I didn't know existed until I was in high school and I saw a VHS tape of it. It was just like the first couple of episodes. I now own a Blu-ray that has the entire series. <laughs> So, here's our mission. We have to steal five floppy disks from this base on Planet X. And then after we get the disks, we have to blow the entire base up. You play a character called JJ, who was the, in the anime, he was the youngest character. And Champ and Apple are your two comrades. And the music that's playing in the background is actually the theme song for the anime. Replicated pretty well with the Master System sound chip. Opa Opa as the cursor because he was in the show as well and you bet your ass I'm gonna display all the commands <laughs> because that's what the whole base of this game is about oh, let's see Sega's pole position um I'll have to look around because there's a couple games I played I think World Grand Prix was a lot like pole position but that wasn't called turbo So basically, you need to search each room for four letters. They call them letters, but they're symbols. And you put them into the computer, and that opens up more rooms. But you have these special commands you can put in in any room as well. Uh, warp A takes you to near the beginning of the area, the uh, base. I forget where Warp B takes you. And yes, uh, back then they didn't care about throwing the sword around casually, so there is a suicide code. And here we are. So, a lot of people compare this game to Metroid, which, yeah, I can see it. I mean, you shoot, you run, you have an energy meter, you're exploring a base. So here's a room, for example. So here's what you do. You go up to a thing, you press up, and you see what you get. I got an ID card. That's bread. That gives you health back. It gives you like 40. And here's what we're looking for. So we got a U. A weird looking 7 thing. A T. And an 8. Okay, what happened was, when I got up to the top there, I touched off an invisible uh, enemy sensor. Okay, so... It was, uh... This symbol, this one, this one... And... This one. And there we go, that opens another room. Now do that for the next uh, three hours or so, and that's pretty much the game. <laughs> and another game that this is a lot like is a game that was called Impossible Mission. 
<laughs> What'd they do? Like jump out or something? So we got some bread and this scope lets us see those invisible trap trip lines. It's that yellow line over there. And we can't open that canister yet. We need a higher level gun. Oh. <laughs> so, that's it for that room. Let's go this way and see what we can see. Got landmines that you gotta jump over. Which is a little difficult because, uh... You know, you're in a enclosed space. Sometimes you can go into some of these walls and corners and there's stuff hidden in them. Is this one? Yep, there you go. So I got some health because I did that. I don't, I think you can only do it once. No, they can't. Well, later they later they start ducking to shoot you, so eventually they gather up the skills to do so. Alright, so a zero. Uh, eight on its side. You and eight. Okay. As you can see, I took a boatload of damage from that thing. So that would be uh, one of the things that we would use those extra commands for that I already forgot. So <laughs> we're just going to go right through it. And we picked up another ID card. Now one thing to note, if you do that door open code, that doesn't use up an ID card. But if you do any other one, you lose an ID card for doing so. Okay, good. I could use that health. Okay, I'll do a little bit more and then stop from there. I will show the game over screen because it's funny. Okay, so this is a little bit more intense because you got that barrier right there. Let me see if I remember which one it is. Perfect. So I lost an ID card for doing that. Alright, never mind because that doesn't last forever. Okay, so I got to level up, so I get more health and I can uh, do other stuff. I got an ID card, and this right here, now I can destroy different bar uh, canisters. Now I can destroy these. And I can jump higher too when I level up. go. Red. Okay, and let me see if I can remember what lowers that down. Uh, was it all these? Nope, that just shows a map. Okay. And if you pause, you can see how many ID cards you have, how many floppy disks you got, yeah, a lot of people do compare this game to Metroid. And you can see uh, Z power is my gun, jump, and scope. Let me see, let me try... 
this one. And if you notice, the symbols are just uh, the mirror images of numbers right next to each other. Like, that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Although, since we already had this, they just put the 8 on its side. What is this one? No, that's not it. I got some of these I can burn through. I want to open that up. Nope. It's a walkway. Is it this one? Nope. <laughs> got two left. I'm determined, damn it. Oops. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna go up here. And I'm gonna show you what happens if you leave the base. Whoop. Yeah, it eats the ID card if you do any other command other than door open. So if you go back to your main ship, uh, you can actually get healed. And this heals you up to full. Of course, the only problem with that is you have to go all the way back to the start of the game. And this is Emmy. She's one of the other characters on the show. But let's just go through and see what happens when you hit that game over screen. Because I find the game over screen very amusing. Yeah, she is. If you play this game and get far enough to see the character Apple, she's very cute as well. But then again, this is an anime made in the 80s, so everybody's cute looking, really. Okay, so we got 9, 1... Got the thing on its side... And two. And it doesn't matter what order you put the uh, symbols in. As long as it's the four symbols that were in the room, you're good. So you can see when I did door open to put my ID card back out. Yeah, I like anime from the 80s a lot as well for character aesthetics. <laughs> you is dead. <laughs> the sadness is unbearable. <laughs> and that's the main villain of the anime. And you get three continues. And we get shot again. Okay, that's Zillion. It's a pretty kick-ass game. Oh, you say the sad the sadness is unbearable? <laughs> Alright, so pull that down. Push this up. And I think we all know where Zillion's going. Whoop. But where? Okay, so let's... Okay, so here's our top ten, right here. Or actually, there. There's our top ten. Yeah, I like Zillion a lot. Like, I find this really fun, even if most of the gameplay is uh, getting symbols and putting him into a computer. I still really enjoy the game. We're gonna put it... It's definitely going in the top ten. Not the top five, but the top ten. I'm gonna put it... Let's see. 
I'm gonna put it right below Ghostbusters because I really enjoy the Master System port of Ghostbusters a lot. And there we go. And for comparison, uh, the original Zillion is right here. It's like 24th on the list. Nope, not Zillion 2, just regular old Zillion. And if you'll notice the on the title screen, the gun, that is the Zillion gun, was what the Sega Light Phaser looked like. The light gun that came with the Sega Master System. It's not worse, it's just, it's not the same game. It's more of a straightforward action game where every level is split into a part where you're on a motorcycle and then a part where you're running around on foot shooting enemies. So it's a lot different. It's more action than this version, which is a lot more uh, adventure, explorer type thing. It's just, you know, there's other games I like a lot more than Zillion 2. Yeah, same here. Alright, what is next? Got one hour left. <laughs> uh, great ice hockey. Okay. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, we're gonna clear Zillion off the list. And do great ice hockey. Yeah. <laughs> and slightly above average ice hockey. Let's see. Oh, look at he go. Oh, it would help if I had my totally legit Master System screen front and center. Oh, I don't like the look of this. <laughs> I'm not touching a single button. Well, let's go for it. Oh, okay. Oh, I think... Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. I might have to disqualify this because I think it needs a peripheral to play properly. But let's see what happens. Oh, dear lord. Oh, I made a goal somehow. <laughs> Either that or I think that was my own goal. I'm not sure. Okay, um... Oh, I did score my own goal. Alright, I'm sort of playing this. I think this requires the Sega Sports Pad, which I don't have uh, properly put in. I'm making it work somehow, though. Yeah, because I can't seem to get my character to actually go up, and I see my goalie is like completely dead in the water. No, um, alright. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna skip this one for now. Because I'm pretty sure I need the Sega Sports Pad in order to play it. And I think it's a trackball controller, which is why I'm kind of going all over the place. So we'll skip this one for now.
So let's see what we're going to play next. I'm not going to rank a game that I can't really play. <laughs> oh, all right. Again, these sports games out of the way, I guess, which is well and good. I was never a fan of sports games in the first place. All right, so. I don't know. I don't think this one needs this. Not all of the great sports games need the sports pad, but we're going to see. Okay. And I've already done all the other great sports games, so this is the last one. Okay, yeah, I can actually control this one, so... Oh, this is practice. I don't want practice. Here we go. Gonna be the USA. Oh yeah, and this game, if you let it, will play whatever country you pick. Oh no, it doesn't. One of the... One of these great sports games, if you let it, it will let you play their... Uh, country's entire national anthem. Let's see, service. Oh. There we go, sure. Yes, USA. And our opponent team is going to be Cuba. No, oh, there they go. And here we are. I missed. <laughs> Oh, I can tell this is going to shape up already. What the hell is going on? <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, me too. Okay. Alright, I think I see where this is going. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Maybe. Almost. I've almost been able to return a ball. Okay, I think I see what I need to do. It's just, it's not happening. Oh my god, you don't have a mercy rule or something? Okay. I see what I need to do. I just have to actually make it happen. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Oh my God, how long will the slaughter continue? Oh 
or what? Did you do that as a pity thing, asshole? Maybe they are. Maybe they're the maybe they're the Brazil of volleyball. Right, fuck this. <laughs> I'm done. This game is utter garbage. No, screw it. I'm putting it below. James Buster Douglas Knockout Boxing. Even though that game barely played. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Johnny. Let me show you. <laughs> let me show you the where the worst game on the list is. Where's the ranking screen? Here. There he is. <laughs> I think I pushed down even further because we've been adding more games to the list. <laughs> All right, let's pull this down. <laughs> yes, very good guess. But so far, ALF has been the worst game on this system. Okay. Let's get rid of great volleyball. <laughs> I think I think that list of games I sent you I didn't uh, curate it very well. That would be the only reason why that game would have gotten away. So this is the first East game. Unfortunately, this being just the first East game. Uh, kind of ends on a cliffhanger. There he is. Play as Adol. And once again, like most, like ev almost every other RPG on the Master System, uh, everybody speaks in Old English. With a lot of thou's and wilst and all that kind of shit. No, let's go in here. Nope, let's go over here. Let's go in here. There we go. Oh yeah, the Turbo Duo version for this game is amazing. Tarwall. Unfortunately, I don't have the money for that. Whoop, I left without buying anything. Sure. You're welcome very much. So, equipment. Hold 
on. Okay, one more time. <laughs> there we go. I gotta press right in order to equip it. There I go. I'm holding a sword now. So we're gonna head over here. Oh, good for you. The hell out of my way, kid. So, uh, she's been searching for us. And she won't talk to us unless we've armed ourselves. Which means I need to buy a shield, too. I think there's a shield store around here somewhere. In a minute. <laughs> Let's talk to the bartender. So he wants us to kill some thieves. Okay, so we got a guy who's a thief hunter. Yeah, I'll have a drink with you. Okay, so he's also talking about that tree that the kids were talking about. But the seed is most exquisite. I'm sure you'll get that chance eventually. What about you? Sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah, the Sega Master System didn't go for anime aesthetics, um, except, you know, in Zillion's case, but that was based directly off of a Japanese anime. Okay, so he bought a ring for his mother, and the ring is gone. And sure, it was the thieves' fault. All right, we're done here. I want to buy a shield. Okay, I don't need that. All right, let's go. Let's just go outside and do what this game is known for. It's time to just smash our face up against enemies until they die. Whoop, no, no. Not me, you. Yep, the bump combat. Uh oh. <laughs> I got bumped. And I didn't save either. <laughs> well, let's try that again. I don't care. No. Where the hell is there a shield in this place? Here we go. No, no, this is just a market. <laughs> sure, whatever. Oh, look at that. He's, uh, got, he has a sapphire ring. Yes, it was. I got a Master System, and then I think like a month or so after, a couple months after, I got a Nintendo Entertainment System. Huh. You know what? Sure, why not? I don't care. <laughs> so what if I can't afford a sword? I'll punch the enemies to death. <laughs> That's okay. Oh wait, where's that bar? That guy would probably want to see that I bought a sapphire ring. It was up around here, I believe. Yeah, here we are. Hey, Winky, what do you think of this? Hell yeah.
I mean, I like the Atari 2600 pretty well. It was right next to the... Ugh, whatever. What armor you got? Oof. I don't think I can afford... I don't think I can afford a sword now. This should be interesting. Um, in the U.S., there was 114. Um, in Europe, it was more like... Well, it was all the games that were released for the U.S., but the Europe also got like 170 or so exclusive games. And then Brazil got exclusive games of their own. But for if we're just strictly speaking for the United States, it was 114 games. Oh, I'm 100 short. All right. Let me go see if I can make 100 gold without a sword. Yeah, about like 115, 114. Let's actually equip these. Yeah. <laughs> well, he can't help that his uh, one player character blew his money on armor and a shield and not a sword. This ought to be good. Can I even, att can I even hit them? Oh dear. <laughs> well. Well, uh here's what here's how it boils down. In not buying a sword, I've made it on I've made it so that I'm unable to harm these enemies. But, with the shield and armor I have, they're unable to hurt me. So, we've arrived at a stalemate, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, even with... Oh, no, here we go. There we go. Okay, uh, that was East. I mean, I really wasn't going to get that far into it anyway. But, I mean, if you only had the second Master System, it's not bad that you got this version. But, there are better versions of East out there. So I, I'm not going to put it below, hang on, Safari Hunt. Because if I'm going to play East, I'm not going to play it on the Master System. I'm going to play it on the uh, Turbo CD, mainly. That would be the main place where I would play the first and second East game. So let's put it... But you know what? I'm going to put it above Captain Silver, though. Why? Because it's my list. No, it's because uh, I do like East better than Captain Silver. And the other games that are down there as well. I mean, nothing's going to compare to Fantasy Star. That's just how it goes. RPG or otherwise. So let's pull that down. Just give me one second. I want to make sure to save the list for right now. Let's see. Got about a half hour left. 
Oh, forgot to hit high choice. What we got coming up on the list. Alright. Rambo First Blood Part 2. Which is a licensed game. Although, when they lost the license, and in other countries, it was called either Seeker Command or Ashura. Alright. That's enough out of you. Sounds like you're whining now. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm glad it's working out for you. So, you might have seen other Rambo games on the Nintendo. I mean, look at that. Look at that Pixel Rambo. It stinks. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And uh, it's Akari Warriors, basically. <laughs> Except, unlike Akari Warriors, this game doesn't suck. Oh, I did get tagged by a... Yeah, he did, but, uh, I mean... You know, I still... I think he's very funny, but... I mean, a lot of his stuff is hyperbole and overreaction. And I feel that he does give some games, like, a really bad rap that don't deserve it. Because, you know, people don't think for themselves, so... The nerd says it sucks, so, oh, it must be one of the worst games in existence, but... I mean, a lot of the games that he says sucks are just, like, you know... Not that bad. Got tagged again by that. <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. Yeah, Akari. The problem I have with Akari Warriors is it is so boring. I mean, each level goes on for like an eternity. I really sh I should do a stream where I compare uh, NES games with Master System games because there were some Master System games that were released on the NES and you'll find that the ones that were released on the NES look like a total ass compared to what's on the Master System. The Master System graphically was a lot more powerful than the uh, um, NES. Unfortunately, what Nintendo did was basically go into stores and say, hey, if you sell Master System games, you we won't let you sell Nintendo games. And that was part of the reason why they couldn't get a market hold in this country. The other reason was because they went with the toy company Tonka to do the marketing for in the US and they didn't know what the hell they were doing and yes it's that Tonka the one that made toy trucks whoa <laughs> yeah it's very tough in Tonka's case because they didn't know what the hell to do But, in Brazil, the company that handled the marketing for the Sega Master System was a company called Tech Toy, which was already a huge toy company in Brazil, so they already had the groundwork there for their stuff. And plus, the problem with Brazil is, anything you import into Brazil 
has like a... Literally, it's like a 3,000% markup, tax-wise. So what Tectoy did was they made their own Sega Master Systems within the country. So they didn't have to pay it. So Sega Master System was pretty much the only system there. Alright, let me actually pay attention to the game, because... <laughs> I'm barely showing it off, and I'm just running my mouth here. Let me actually try to progress. No. See the enemies firing their ping pong balls out at everything. Gotta be careful because those grenades that go off, they blow shrapnel in the four directions, and that's what keeps killing me. Oh, come on. That didn't even hit me. All right, we're done with Rambo. <laughs> you got the basic gist of it. <laughs> well, it's funny because in the other versions of the game, they don't change his sprite all that much. All right, yeah, but that's enough Rambo. I have to say, though, that's a nice-looking pixel rendition of Rambo on there. So let's see. I'm gonna put Rambo. Let's see. It is, it's not a bad game, but it's not a game that I would play very often. So we're gonna put it we're going to put it just under Hang On. Okay, I'll get rid of that yellow and stuff later. down and let me just get rid of that yellow stuff Starting to get down low now. Oh, good. I think this is our. Nope, it's our second to last. It's the second to last Alex Kid game we're going to be looking at. We've already looked at Miracle World and Shinobi World which were his two best outings. Now let's look at his, well, I wouldn't say worst outing. Okay, and see if you're the second player, you get a yellow headband Rambo. 
<laughs> All right, let me delete Rambo from the list. And Alex Kid in High Tech World, which was changed from the Japanese version. The Japanese version was based on an anime called Emitsu Hime, and it stars a tomboy princess who just gets into trouble and mischief in feudal Japan. Shut up. So, uh, we're gonna start a new game. So, the whole point of this game is Alex Kidd is trying to get to an arcade. Whereas in Emitsu Hime, the princess is trying to get to a bakery before it closes. So the only map was cut up into pieces. We gotta find all the pieces of the map. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really have, uh... Growing up, I didn't have too many arcades around. Usually the mall would be where the arcade would be in the food court. A couple times they tried to do, like, small little arcades in the, um, like, when my mom used to go to the laundromat. It was a, one of those, like, little strip mall things. And, uh, one of them, they tried to do an arcade there, but that didn't last too long. Because, you know, eventually it got vandalized and nobody really went in there. Because they they had, like, Mortal Kombat 2 when that first came out and that pulled a lot of people in. But then eventually they started getting, like, really old stuff that nobody cared about, like Pac-Man Jr. and stuff like that. So they went under pretty quick. So, uh, here's Alex Kidd. Here's the castle that he has to explore. There's six floors. And we are on a strict time limit. We have to finish this game before that time hits five o'clock in the afternoon. So, this is Alex's room. There ain't stuff to do in here. So hidden throughout this entire castle are eight pieces of notebook paper. So here's Alex's parents, who if you remember in uh, Alex Kid in Miracle World, Alex had no clue where his father was at the end of the game. Well, did you use a sheet of notebook paper by any chance? No. <laughs> So we have that. Yeah, that's the that's the first level of Alex Kid in Miracle World. You go down a mountain. So the two of them, they banter back and forth. So you grab it. But then you look, fake. <laughs> so immediately, the game starts yanking your schwantz around with uh, these map pieces. So did you take another sheet of notebook paper? Like the one I'm looking for? What, yanking your schwantz? <laughs> so there. 
So now we have the first piece of the map. Seven more to go, and it's already been ten minutes. This game is like a wide awake nightmare. <laughs> Pot. Yes. So, there's a tiny ladder inside this pot. So, oh, what's in this room? So, nothing in here. <laughs> Wasn't I just in here? Oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> I thought there was going to be another two retainers in here. Oh no, and I'm being roped into taking a test. So, get a load of these questions on this test. You would, you would think that this would be like, you know, something video game related, but no. <laughs> they just start asking all of this insane garbage of you. Sure. Okay, I know that one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. <laughs> You're stuck here. <laughs> yep. Now, if they had put 48 on here, that would have really thrown me for a loop, because I'm like... Because I would be like, oh, maybe it was maybe it was like that, but now it's 50. I passed. <laughs> Work over the paper, bitch. See ya. I'm gonna strut my ass down the hallway. Oh, uh, Alex likes to loudly announce himself when he's in a room. Oh, and there's ways to get an instant game over as well. There's one right there. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, it's like, oh, I wonder if I get like a continue or something. Nope, get fucked, Alex. Back to the start of the game for you. <laughs> you don't get a password until you clear the entire uh, map thing. So you have to get through the entire getting the eight pieces of the notebook paper without getting an instant game over like that. And then they finally give you a password. Uh, 
Uh, needless to say, I hate this game. This game sucks so much. Because once you get through the part with the map, uh, you gotta go through some action stages and... Yes, it sure does. All right, let's uh, let's rank this. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, not that far down. Actually, yeah, that far down. Well, I will say this: starting from Strider down, these games are like these games barely function, and I hate pa I hate Paperboy. So we're gonna put Alex Kid in High Tech World right here. Actually, wait. Um, hmm. Alright, never mind. We're gonna put a little bit higher. Okay, I think we got time for one more game. down. Nope, not that. Here we go. What is our last game for the night going to be? Okay. Another shooter. That's fine. Yeah, here's one of the action levels you gotta go through in this game. There's only four levels in the game. But that beginning part at the castle can take, like, the better part of 45 minutes, so there you go. Okay, so Alex Kid in High Tech World, get lost. And Bomber Raid. So, judging from this very generic title screen, we get to take off. Look at us go. And uh, here we are. This is Bomber Raid. I can't even see the shots that are being fired. <laughs> you get a bomb, and that's about it. Oh, now I can see the shots. Yeah, this is kind of like Sky Shark 1942, uh, those games. This is kind of like a Toa Plan shooter. Okay, I got a little option. Alright. I'm gonna say I got those bombs, I'm gonna use them. So you notice I've picked up two P icons, and they don't seem to have done anything. The speed icons do stuff immediately, but the P icons, you need to collect a bunch of those before anything actually happens. And those uh, one and two things, those different options, 
They give you different, you know, uh, directions for the options to shoot in. Now you see, after getting like six of them, now my shot is like longer. But that's about it. This is, this is me holding the button down. That's how slow the rate of fire is. And I mean, look at this. I'm guessing this is the boss, but it's some kind of like quivering mass. There we go. And the level is still going on. Okay, now my... Now something seems to be happening with my, uh, weapon. It's turned into some kind of... Corkscrew gun. It seems to be getting thicker as well. Okay. Now I'm getting a little too... Too many speed ups. I'm a little too fast now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I lost my little side plane. Oh, sounds like we're at an actual boss. What is it? There it is. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't think that many guns are necessary. Bomber raid. And we're going to put that. Hmm. Alright, well, it's better than Thunderblade. I'll say that because Thunderblade is total garbage. do one more game. I don't want to end on that. Come on, baby. One more spin of the wheel. What we got? What you got? Okay. So, RC Grand Prix, it is not the same as RC Pro-Am for the NES. This is a much different game. Okay, Bomber Raid, go away. So you see, this is a bit different. This is made by Absolute Entertainment, not Rare. So... 
if you can see by this giant squiggly thing, these are different, these are the different choruses that there are. If you take a good look, one of these courses is runs along this entire square rectangle. <laughs> And this is the kind of game where, in order to turn, you have to tap the button. It's not like smooth turning. You gotta hold it down in order to... ...go. Like, you turn in degrees. You don't just turn. And every time you hear that little beep, that's when you know a turn is coming up. So they do give you some warning ahead of time. But, as you can see, uh, there's no music, there's no weapons, there's no charm either, which RC Bro Proham had a lot of. You know, it was a game made by Rare, so it was really cool. I mean, I barely made that, but <laughs> I still didn't do well. Yeah. Thank you. Please rub it in more. <laughs> Why don't you just take your heel and grind it into my balls with that last place. Alright, let's rank this and then that'll be it for this episode of Master System Mania. I do like the music though. Would I play this game again? No. But, in the list of games where I wouldn't play them again, which is currently on screen right now, where would I place it? Well, it works, so it's better than the stuff that's from, like, 66, 67, and 68, because those games just don't really function that well. Let's see. It was better than Thunderblade. It was a lot more entertaining than Bomber Raid. Strider's hot garbage on the Master System. Alright, um, you know what? I'm gonna put it right under Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Because I think I would rather play that than this. And the game does function. It is a working game. So. RC Grand Prix. Okay. Just give me one second. Let me delete that off the list. Yeah, hold on. Let me throw the logo I made back up. Okay, so... Let me just take a quick look, see how many games we did today. Ooh, 16. Not bad. Not bad at all. And if I look on the picker wheel... Let me just uh, X a few things out here. So I can see how many games we have left. We got 32 games left, plus the games that are for the uh, shooting and 3D, because I need to use a different, totally legit Sega Master System for that. Well, yeah, it's easy to tear through them when there's only like 100 and 
<laughs> There's like 115. All right, so let me uh, stop the local recording because that's done. And so for the YouTube people, I'll say have a nice day. See you next time.